collective. It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. Thank you guys for continuing to support the channel. Thank all of you who went and subscribed to my son's channel, Life of the Moors. I appreciate y'all. Let's see what message Spirit got for y'all today. Divine Holy Spirit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Look at that tower peeking through with the Knight of Swords, baby. All right, Spirit, what message do you have for my collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, so uh, Eight of Cups with the King of Wands. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. Star Crown in the reading. All right, let's get into it, y'all. King and Queen of Wands, this is a divine counterpart, but there's some type of sadness here with the Five of Cups. Um, also, someone walked away here. Okay. This person could have also been love bombing somebody with that Knight of Cups. And maybe they regret they did that, you know. They could have walked away from their divine counterpart to go and seek a teaching elsewhere. Um which could have been the Knight of Cups, you know? Somebody could have love bombed the King of Wands away or love bombed the Queen of Wands away. But someone regrets, and the regret's coming out by the King of Wands, okay? Now someone's looking at their actions. You know, maybe this person had pride and ego. Because I'm telling you, King and Queen of Wands both in the upright. This is a very powerful, passionate couple here. But like I said, with the star here, baby... But Eight of Cups is the first card out. Yeah, look at that shit. Hmm. Nine of Cups with the World and the Ace of Pentacles. So, Nine of Cups with the Six of Wands is someone's like, my way or the highway. And I don't know what the fuck this King of Wands was thinking, but he had that made his match. You see what I'm saying? And so, that caused some things to end. That has caused something to end, but I feel like what this person wants is the the standoff. There's like a standoff between the two that really ain't even there. It shouldn't be. This King of Wands put that there when he walked away because of their pride and ego, because of their selfishness. And this person regrets doing it. So they want that cycle to close out so there can be a brand new beginning here with the Ace of Cups, okay? Because whatever they did, <clears throat> it didn't get this person what they wanted. Okay, I mean, you could be somewhere bold as fuck standing in your power. And this person's just looking at what they did. They're looking at that Eight of Cups because they walked away. And I don't know if this person thought by them walking away that you would chase them, that they would get them what they want, but that's not what happened here. And they see it. They see it. They regret the fuck out that shit. Nine of Cups. I mean, um, look. This person wanted to be single, nine of pentacles, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. This person wanted to be single, all right? But with the judgment here, they don't want that no more. Uh-uh. They want this divine counterpart. I don't care what you say. I'm looking at it right here. And with the tower, something drastic happened here. What was this tower, spirit? What was the tower? Six of pentacles. Mm. And then that five of cups. And you know what I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles? What you put out is what you get back. This person walked away because they wanted to be single. So guess what? They single. They single. Somewhere fucking miserable as fuck. Period. And I'm telling y'all, Five of Cups out here twice. And it's heavy. This person's wanting to be very cocky and egotistical. It's heavy on them. Because this Queen of Wands, she knows her worth. She's like, I wish a bitch would. She might have done turned uh, Queen of Swords on his ass. So, what's that? See? Ace of Cups. So, this person suppressed what they felt for you. Mm-hmm. Because they wanted to be single. Now, this person's looking at things from a different perspective. Like, dude, uh, maybe I didn't have to handle it that way. Maybe I could have communicated to this person. I don't really see any swords. So, there was no communication. For real, for real. I just feel like somebody was in their ego. And I feel like this is something that this person had to learn. They may always act this way. They may always behave this way. This is their go-to thing. When they meet somebody that they really want instead of this person 
um, opening up and communicating what they want, they walk away to get that chase. They want somebody to chase them. The King of Wands loves praise and loves attention. Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. Um, but like I said, somebody met their match. And so this person taking those actions have left this person out in the cold. They left the whole connection out in the cold and they want this shit to be over. There's this energetic standoff between the two. Y'all coming right up under each other. The King of Wands is looking at the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Wands is looking at the Six of Wands. So now you could be somewhere getting a lot of attention from people and um, everybody that this person, that the King of Wands was getting attention from could be walking away from them. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Yep, death. Damn. You see how the lights just went out? Confirmation. Everybody... It, <clears throat> Whoever this queen, the king of wands walked away from you for, I feel like they walked away from you to get attention from other people. Knight of Cups, Six of Wands. But they all walking away from this person. And I feel like now you're in, it's like the tables have flipped. Now you're getting a bunch of attention. And they like, I keep seeing this, <laughs> hey man, they looking at this shit totally different. Like, damn, that did not give me what I wanted. And what I thought I wanted, I don't. I want this queen of wands. Now, how do I... Bridge the gap. How do I um, end this standoff between us? Okay, because see, now somebody wants to commit with the King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, they want to have equal give and take here. Okay, what's that? Yeah, this person was toxic as fuck. Their ways, their thought patterns was just toxic. This person was confused. Um, sadly mistaken. If they thought that this is how they was going to control the situation by keep putting you in competition or, you know, they could have just simply chose. I feel like this person chose a different direction for a lot of you. I feel like this person walked away with the intentions of you chasing them. And I don't feel like that's what happened here. I don't feel like you chased this person. I mean, maybe you didn't know what the fuck they was doing because the king and queen of wands, y'all felt the same exact way about each other. So you may have been a little bit confused. Like, why is this person walking away? Well, you know, I'm going to let them go out there and figure out what they're doing with their life. But that's not what they thought was going to happen. They thought by them walking away, he's going to come and chase them. I'm telling y'all, this is this King of Wands is someone who loves attention. This is Leo energy. They have to be fucking seen. They have to be praised. And maybe you were not giving this person enough attention. And so they walked to people who would, not a cubs. They went to someone who was love bombing them. They walked away from a queen of wands to a fucking knight of cups. You know what the knight of cups is? One night stands. Love bombing energy. Stroking his little fucking ego. But even that ain't sufficing. And now you the one might have a lot of, um, whoever, okay, lovers. I feel like you got people wanting you. But somebody here, they are... People that the two of you know, and they're talking to this King of Wands about you. So say for instance, his buddies, his friends know you. They're coming to the King of Wands about you. So now this person knows there's competition. So now they're trying to lock some shit down. Like, I got to lock this down. Somebody is complete wish fulfillment with the star. Okay, what else, Spirit? Knight of Cups. If this person think they're finna come in here and love bomb you, they got enough thing coming. They better take their ass home and learn something new. You ain't with that shit. You don't need, uh-uh. Hell, fuck, no. Nah. What the fuck is a Knight of Cups? Now, normally, a Knight of Cups comes in with a love offer. But see, this King of Wands, uh-uh, baby. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. They know it's not gonna work. They know them coming in towards you with this Knight of Cups, love bombing you. They know that shit is not gonna work. Why? Because you're someone who know your worth. And you don't seek attention like the King of Wands. Remember, he walked away from you toward a Knight of Cups, somebody who's going to stroke his ego. Because that's what he's used to. That's how he know is how to come in here and maybe try to love bomb you and give you a bunch of attention. It's not going to work. The fuck? Yeah. Because it really might be competition out there for you, for you now. With the Six of Wands, Knight of Cups lovers, you really might have a lot of people. Like I said, there's people that the King of Wands knows personally that's talking about you so the end is pissing them off it's pissing them off child it could be a taurus for some of you guys or an aquarius 
But everybody sees you as the fucking Ten of Cups. Whoever this is that's talking to this King of Wands, they see you as wish fulfillment. The stars crowning the reading. This King of Wands see your ass as wish fulfillment. They always have. It's just the, the choices that they made. They decided to walk away because you were not giving, you weren't stroking, stroking their ego enough. Like, bruh, I'm not finna, you don't need me to make you feel happy. You need to feel happy within yourself. But see, the problem is, this King of Wands, the reason he searches for people who stroke stroke the ego is because they got some type of insecurities. Yes, they do. I don't care what nobody say. Okay? Motherfuckers walking around in pride and ego ain't nothing but a match because they feel insecure about themselves. Okay? He knew y'all was a, a motherfucking match, King and Queen of Wands, but you gonna walk away from your fucking match for a Knight of Cups? Have you lost your fucking mind? Big boo-boo the fool looking ass. Yeah, he need to go heal some damn well and put down them player-ass ways. This King of Wands has to be praised for everything he do. Oh, you was just the best in bed. Oh, I love the way you pump my gas in my car. Oh, nobody ever washed my windows on my car the way you do. Like, bro, ain't nobody got time for that shit. Sit your big-footed ass down some motherfucking well. You, we on the same page here, bro. Okay, I'm not trying to diminish nothing you do, but I'm not going to go all out and extra with what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm genuine. If you put if you put in work last night in the bed, I'm going to tell you. But if that shit was sloppy, that shit what it was. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and stroke your ego, bro. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I, I can't speak for everybody else. I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you, oh, my God, you made me oh, in two seconds. Nah, bro, it took you 15 minutes to, to get the job done. So, let's you know, let's work it out. What the fuck is going on? I'm not going to lie to you, period. Okay, that's what they want. They want somebody to stroke the little ego. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Now, this is all that keeps showing itself. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Somebody want to settle the fuck down. And they want to settle down with the person that they walked away from. Whew. Gotcha. What else, spirit? Yeah, two of swords. I, they don't see how. They don't see how they can bridge the gap. They could have left... Um, for a lot of you, they don't know how to get in contact with you with the Eight of Wands, okay? But they could have left some space for a long time. They could have completely let a cycle close out with y'all, okay? Could been some, excuse me, could have been some years or some months. It's just too fucking long. It's too long that this person did not take action on you. Four of Swords with the uh, Two of Swords, they didn't take action. Cause you didn't get enough enough attention. Like, right, bro, you lost your fucking mind. And so now with the six of swords, some of y'all don't move the fuck on. <laughs> some of y'all don't move on, child. Mm. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. This person betrayed their damn self. It's just clear. It's so clear. Some of them could have went back to somebody who was giving them all of that attention that they needed, but they went back to some toxic bullshit. Ask them where it got their ass. They still single. The fuck? Ten of Swords. They could have got done wrong by this past person. They could have tried to do you wrong with this past person, but you still standing in the upright. And this person all in their head, like, what do I do now? I don't know. They can't see their way out of it. This person could have left you like this, and now they like this. Because I feel like you done moved on. Six of Swords, you getting a lot of attention. You're standing in your power. You're not, conf you're not cocky. You're confident. That's the difference here. You were confident, and this person was cocky. Because now the cuz with the six of wands, it, it's cockiness all day long. But like I said, the only reason this person is cocky is because this person is insecure as fuck on the inside. And so they needed somebody to tell them how they do everything just so amazing. Bruh. Ain't nobody got time to be trying to reparent you. That's because this person was hurt. They were coming from a hurt space. So they, need re they needed reassurance every three seconds. And like I said, you know, when you're in a relationship, yes, people want to be reassured. But this person was looking for validation outside of themselves. They wanted people to make them feel whole. No, you got to make your damn self feel whole. That's why that four sources out there, I told y'all, lack insecurities with the four pentacles. So they want, that's why they were seemingly on the surface level, the king and queen of wands are just alike. But you weren't because... Inside, this king of wands felt like a fucking 15-year-old compared to this queen of wands. So that's why they went to, y'all know knights is teenage energy. That's why this king of wands went to a knight of cups. 
could have been a younger water sign or someone who was childish as fuck. Hell, both of these two people could be older than you. But it's all about the maturity level. Okay, so this Knight of Cups is stroking the ego, telling him how ain't nobody ever pumped her gas like that. Oh, my God, ain't nobody ever paid my light bill the way you did. Ooh, the way you slid that $100 on top of that counter right there. Ooh, baby. That's what they need. Ain't nobody got time for that. Damn. Uh-uh. And that shit's heavy. Regret, regret on they ass. I got time, like, baby. <laughs> okay, so now you got the chariot. It's like with the lovers. Now this person wants to have the structure and discipline to be equal. Y'all was equal on a surface level. Because deep down, like I said, this person was insecure as fuck. Very possessive, very jealous. That night of swords, this person get jealous over stupid shit. It, always in competition, six of wands, all five of wands, always in competition for some shit. Cause he had to be the best. Ask them where he got, where it got him. No damn well. Hurt. Three of swords, ten of swords. Cause see, they ain't had no business going back to this toxic motherfucker. They needed to hear what the fuck was going on within. But this person spent their lifetime trying to get people outside of them to, to make them feel whole. That's not how you do that. You got to heal what's going on, bruh. What has you feeling fragmented? What hurt you and had you feeling this way? Was it the lack of nurturance when you was coming up? Did you not have your mama or your daddy? Or, you know, what's going on? It's time to self-reflect and look at that. But no, this person wanted to get that from outside of them. Mm-mm. That's the biggest lesson on this spiritual path. Self-love is the best love. And Spirit said, that's the damn truth. Self-love is the best love. I do feel like that King of Wands sees that now. They see that shit now. Like, oh my God, I realize what I've been doing. I walked away from my complete match, King and Queen of Wands, to get with a fucking Knight of Cups. They may have finally seen just how childish this person was. But with the Six of Pentacles, this childish-ass person was only putting out what this King of Wands was putting out. You can only get back what you put out. They wasn't ready for that Queen of Wands because on the surface level, yeah. Some of y'all was just like, what the fuck is this person doing? How are they going to walk away from me, that complete match, to get with a childish ass motherfucker? That's because on the inside, that's how they feel. Okay? Yeah, self-love is the best love, bro. Just pure point blank. Just pure point blank. And you can't look for that from nobody else. And if you do, you will always end up like this. If you are looking for other people to validate just who in the fuck you are, you will always end up like this. And this person, they had to go back possibly to an old baby mama in the past, okay, to, to get that ten of swords happen to them. Oh, I like the way you cook my bacon. Ain't nobody never fried my bacon the way you do, King of Wands. Uh-uh. So, this King of Wands had to put some work in on the cell. Like, bro, it's time for you to self-reflect. Stop fucking projecting. Stop having everybody stroke your little fucking ego. Your fucking nuts so damn big, you can't even walk. You have to put them bitches in a cart to walk them hoes because they're just so fucking big. Swole ass nuts. Man, deflate them bitches and do the work. What else, spirit? Now, uh-huh. That's what it was. That's why they walked away from me because they was insecure. It just peered. I don't give a fuck what they said to you and how they tried to make you feel. This person walked away from you because they was insecure as fuck. Okay? And instead of talking about these things, you could have said something, could have did something that hurt this person's feelings. Instead of talking about it, I don't feel like you, I feel like you did not stroke their fucking nuts enough. Because you thought y'all were equal. You thought this person had matured to a certain level, king and queen of wands. But you didn't realize that you were dealing with a knight of wands. The fuck? Now they feel like a big old fool. I feel like after this person did some self-reflection and realized, look, man, it's all in me. I can't be looking outside of me for motherfuckers to fulfill me. I got to fulfill my damn self. And so the end of thing gonna come on top of it, that's just icing on the cake. So now that this person done did all that, they want to take this leap of faith right here and see how they can bridge the gap between y'all. Okay? Yeah, the person done learned something new after healing. Four of swords, and now they're ready to take this. It's like this person's choosing they self now. And I don't mean that in no cocky ass way. I feel like this person's choosing to move forward. They kept going back. Back, back, back. Six of cups. Because this person wasn't never fucking healed. 
It's always looking at the back, the past, the past, the past. Now this person's ready to move forward. The Page of Pentacles is all about learning something new. The Four of Swords is healing yourself, going within, looking at the fucking issues, dealing with them. And now the Two of Wands, choosing to move forward. There's nothing holding this person on this wand back here because they've healed everything that needed to be healed. And see, they got that pinnacle moving forward. And now they want to see how, okay? How they can bridge the gap between the two of you. But for some of y'all, there's a lot of distance between y'all, whether it be emotional distance or physical distance. For some of you, this person's going to have to get in that motherfucking car and drive toward you. A lot of you, this person may not know your phone number. They may not know where you live. They just may not know where you stand now because this is someone who's looking at life in a totally different perspective okay you you had a a, a grown-ass man looking at life through the eyes of a fucking 15 year old girls just want to have fun uh, okay that's fine but we gotta go to work first we gotta go to work you know what i'm saying and then on friday i'm gonna party and get my groove on you were somebody had your shit together and it seemed as if this can't once had their shit together Telltale sign. The moment they walk away from their divine counterpart to go to a childish person, let you know. It has shit to do with you, but everything to do with what was going on inside this person. Okay? Three of ones in the reverse. Wherever the fuck this person went, and this shit didn't go nowhere. I already told y'all that. But also with the three of ones in the reverse, this person don't want to wait no more. They don't want to have you waiting anymore. With the tower here, somebody is busting out the scenes. And they want to try to figure out how to mend the gap. Okay, step in their power now. Not no pride and ego, but step in their power and see how to bridge this gap. Cause, ooh, child, this came out like this, though. I feel like this person's been in her mode for too long. For too long, they starting to get, they might be starting to get depressed. Okay? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Something that you did is causing some movement. It's causing this person to come out. Thank you, Spirit. Something that you did is causing this person to come out of her mode. I'm so sorry, 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 sorry. Want to have a brand new beginning. But I really do feel like some type of action. And I feel like it could have just been you putting it into to the charades, to the bullshit. Like, bruh, okay, you want to go and be with your little night of fucking cups? Go ahead. Okay, because I'm going to go over here and do what I got to do for me. And it could have been these buddies talking about you. I just said that. These people, three of pentacles, talking about you. That's what got this person angry with the knight of swords. Because they know it's competition for your ass. It's like people could recognize what this person could. This person always recognized your worth. They didn't recognize their own worth. That's why they kept going back to this old bullshit. They never healed that. Okay? And like I said, this person walking away from you had nothing to do with you, but everything to do with them and the lack of self. Once you find yourself, you have hit the fucking lottery. I said that in my live last night because it's the truth. So whoever these three of pinnacle peoples is, they talking about you. And it's got this person upset. Yep. Page of Swords. Yes. Everybody watching you. There's people who are like, <laughs> I can't make this shit the fuck up. Peoples is talking about you. Peoples is watching you, talking about you. Like, damn, that's somebody I could settle down with. But see, this King of Wands is starting to realize, 11, 11, that y'all is twins. So hold up. Wait a minute. I got to get off in here and make this shit right before somebody else who sees the Queen of Wands worth do it. And somebody don't know how to do this. Like, what do? What can I do? And they know you're not going to turn around and double back to them. That was the lesson. This person had to miss out on the best thing since sliced bread. That was this person's lesson. Now they got to figure out how to move it forward. To a cup. Talk to him, spirit, because I ain't got time. I ain't got time to keep explaining. That was their lesson here. So now this is all they want. I told you somebody want commitment. Relationship. This person just had to heal. But see, they had them took their life through some bullshit. You should never have to keep going back in the fucking past. Where that six of cups at? You should never have to keep going back. And when you know it's toxic as fuck. Okay, this person kept going back, 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 back. And, you know, for a lot of you, if it's not that this person kept going back to someone else, they kept going back to this space. So if this person got hurt as a child, they were going back to this space, and that is what was causing this person. They Their forward movements was based off of this energy, hurt energy. 
So, of course, they're not going to pick the healthy option, king and queen of wands. They will not then pick the, the bullshit-ass option. Some of them try to make a relationship out of it. Like, bro, you look like boo-boo the fool. You a fucking king of wands trying to have a relationship with a knight of cups. Where they do that at? The only people that do that is people that need their fucking uh, ego stroked. But see, he look foolish. Because the Knight of Cups is real childish compared to this King of Wands. Because see, on the maturity level, the King of Wands, I mean, emotionally, I feel like the King of Wands was at this Knight of Cups. But when it came to everything else in life, he was a King of Wands. But whoever they got with, everything in life, this person was a Knight of Cups. So it's really like a 40-year-old being with a 15-year-old. That shit get tiring, child. The only time it's ever any good is sexually, I guess. And they got more stamina. But when you got to go to work, get up, pay bills, make a dope ass decision, this person's fucking lost. And they're putting it all on this person. This person's realizing, bro, you brought yourself there. Because you had your direct counterpart in front of you. But you just wasn't healed enough to see how to work it out. So Spirit say heal away the fucking addictions. Something this person kept going back to. And I feel like this hurt ass space. You know, a lot of motherfuckers like the trauma bond with folk. Confirmation. Lights just went out. So Spirit says, accept what the fuck this was. Heal that shit and move the fuck on. If you gonna fuck around and miss this Queen of Wands, you gonna fuck around and miss this Queen of Wands playing game. Okay? He done walked away from you for this old childish ass. Baby. Yeah, look at you. Profoundly. What the cards say? You are profoundly clairvoyant. You wish a bitch would you? Huh? I knew it, child. What did I tell y'all? The king and queen of wands is divine counterpart, twin flame. The card says, the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. His ass wasn't ready for it. Then went down there to the damn night of cups. A 40-year-old fucking with a 15-year-old. That's a crime in the damn self. But see, that king of wands was really this night of wands. That's what I was telling y'all. I said, you didn't understand why this person was walking away from you. King, queen of wands, on the surface level, seems like a complete match. But this is really who that king of wands was. He was a knight of wands. So he could get along with that knight of cups. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All that was hidden. This person walked around with that pride and ego, making you think. This person's life was not together. Not like that. Uh-uh. Okay, so that's why it was easy for them to go back and, and stay in that bullshit for so fucking long. But it ended up going nowhere. That shit would never go nowhere. Because y'all is twins. It was time for him to let that shit go. And there's a lot of regret here. This person got to come up out there regret and take action. Or they're going to fuck around and miss you for good. They're going to miss you for good. You ain't got time for this shit. You know, this person could have been just giving you this night of cup. That's because this person's a knight. They were a knight wearing a king of wands suit. Them shoes was too big for them feet that he was trying to walk in. Period, y'all. Them shoes was too big for them feet that he was trying to walk in. Now he can fit the shoe. Now he went he went to the shoe store, slid his feet in, and they comfortable. They fit comfortable, okay? So I feel like he gonna comfortably walk his ass over there and see how y'all can figure this out. Twin flame. Look at this shit, child. Ah, what behind that? Fairies. And what do you desire? Why like he would be sitting up here complaining about the light of cup. Why you can't be more like the queen of one? But hell, when you had the queen of one, your ass wasn't doing it. Listen, we already talked about it. I'm not beating nobody down. You know, this was part of this person's lesson. They had to heal whatever. I mean, star is crying in the reading. This person had to heal that within they self to see they divine counterpart. Okay? It was never that they thought that Knight of Cups was better. And they've been watching you in healing. Um, it was just that, like I said, that King of Wands was really a Knight of Wands. And so they chose a Knight of Cups instead of the Queen of Wands. Simple dimple. Okay? So... I, I be peeping it out. People walk around all extra cocky. I know what it is. I be like, poor thing. They insecure. Pride and ego is a mask to cover up their insecurities that they feel within them. I be knowing it. Profoundly clairvoyant. I knew my twin was insecure as fuck about itself. 
But, you know, if you're not willing to talk to me about it and you continue to walk around with this fucking mask, then I can't help you. You know what I'm saying? First, you got to admit that shit. You must first admit that, yes, I'm broken. I'm hurt. There's some things that I haven't healed. And, you know, then you can move forward. But if you want to cover that shit up with a mask and walk around like macho, macho, man, your decisions in life tell it all. Who the fuck chooses a knight over a queen? So that told it right there. When my DM walked away from me, it told me everything I need to know. Now, did it get me out of my head space? No, because I just could not. I was like, I don't understand this. This person is choosing this bullshit over what's in front of him. You know, I, could, I didn't want to accept it. Let's put it like that. I knew what it was. The moment that he chose to do that, I knew exactly what was going on. But I didn't want to accept it because he was walking around like he really was. A king of wands. Okay? So anyway... That's what I have for y'all. It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. Be on the lookout. Till next time. Bye.